Hello everyone, so today I thought I would do another vlog, obviously, that's what you're watching. And it is Thursday today and I said I was going to vlog like during the week, didn't I? But I've partially failed. Well actually no, because it's still during the week, but I've started it three days late. But that is because when I went home to get some more of my stuff from my family house, I say home, this is my home, but my family home, I left you there. I accidentally left you guys there, and I'm very sorry about that, but I've now collected you because I've gone back to get some more stuff. You are back home here again, and I can vlog. What a long-winded way of explaining the fact that I left my camera at home. So a few things have changed since I last saw you guys. I'm actually not sat on the floor for once, I'm sat on a big squishy thing. And I'll show you guys it in a minute. But yeah, the sofa arrived yesterday, which you missed. It's so annoying that I didn't have my camera for that. Alex is obviously at work right now. And tonight is actually the first night that I'm gonna be staying here on my own because he's not coming back because of work. So mm, I'm a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually really nervous. I don't like staying places on my own. I don't even like staying in my family house on my own. And I've lived there ever since the day I popped out of my mum's womb. Um, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about staying like somewhere kind of new on my own but I'm gonna do it I've brought down loads of my stuff so you guys can help me well you can't really help me can you but I can vlog me putting away my stuff pretty much everything is down here now apart from my clothes I've still got to do that couldn't quite fit that in my little car I'm having to do so many trips because my car is quite small the sofa is here not the pink one that one's coming tomorrow but the gray the, well you didn't know it was grey but now you do the grey sofa is here the living room sofa I've also started building something else for the bedroom and I did it like pretty much on my own my mum was here and she was like helping me lift things because see it's quite heavy but I did all the instructions on my own and I feel actually quite proud it's quite wobbly but I'm hoping when it's finished it won't be <laughs> I don't know I've probably done it wrong but yeah it's it's probably the most complex thing so far of all the Ikea things and I feel quite accomplished that I've done a semi-decent job. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys our lovely sofa. I will show it to you in a minute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, well that's not ideal is it? You want to chat to my non-existent boobs? Probably not. It's a bit of a grotty day today but I'm alright with that. It's not hot. Someone's train, tra trains, train soaring? <laughs> Someone's chain soaring loudly. I mean, I don't think you can really do it quietly, but they're doing it very loudly. This just looks weird. I'm not digging this t-shirt with dungarees because it covers it up and it's just annoying me. So I might, there we go. I've removed the dungaree. I've had my eye on this sofa for such a long time. Like I started browsing sofas back at the start of the year before we'd even found a place. I'm sure loads of you guys know Jazz and <laughs> I've been to her apartment like three times I'd say and every time me and Soph and Jazz have been at Jazz's apartment we've spent most of the time sat on Jazz's sofa and I didn't realise it's Jazz's sofa, it's the same one and I've literally spent so long sat on that sofa and I never once thought this is kind of similar to the one that I'm going to be getting. <laughs> And I never realised. And the only reason I realised is because when it arrived, I was like, this just seems so familiar. <laughs> so I went back to her moving vlogs, to the one where her sofa arrived. And obviously in that clip, it arrived with these cushions because she hadn't taken them off yet. And I was like, oh my God, it's the same one. It has these cushions on it. It is actually the same sofa. And I just find it so funny that I've had my eye on this sofa for so long and I've literally sat on it for hours at her house and not realised. <laughs> I'll give you a good look at it. Oh, let's put these back up. So this is what it looks like. It is a really nice grey, kind of palish grey colour and it's in this like L shape. So you've got the normal sofa and then the lounger and it just fits in this little slot perfectly. I think it looks pretty good and then the rug goes really nicely with like the cushions. How good did we match that? Oh, come on, that's good. I'm pretty impressed with that. And I was going to put the coffee table, like, here, because I guess that's where you normally put them. But I quite like it there. Obviously, I need to take the cardboard off the bottom. The only reason that's still there is because I didn't want to, like, it to make holes in the ground until I knew exactly where it was going to stay. I say holes, you know, like, how it dents the carpet. But, yeah, I'm so happy with it. I think it just makes the room look like more of a living room now. And it feels like more of a home now that there's a sofa. And it's just so comfy and... It's perfect. So the bedroom is currently looking like an absolute mess, but this is what me and my mum built yesterday and I'm pretty impressed. However, this is the only issue I'm not sure about. 
I mean, should it be doing that? It hasn't got a back on it yet, so I'm hoping that might make it a little bit more sturdy, but I might try and finish it in a minute. I don't know how far I'll get on my own, but I'm impressed with myself, and I really enjoyed it. Following those instructions, oh, good. Have I ever told you guys? I think I have. I'm pretty sure you guys already know about my, like, love for instructions. Oh, it was really fun, like, following all the steps. Like, Ikea fat, fl fat pack? Fat pack furniture. <laughs> Ikea flat pack furniture. If there is a job out there where you just go and put it together for people, I'm sure there might be actually. If YouTube doesn't work out for me, that's where I'm heading. That will be my job. <laughs> Although, I mean, not sure if I'll get the job. I've also put a load of stuff in here. This is kind of like decorative stuff that I need to put out once I can. And I've brought across all of my skincare stuff. This is literally all... Oh! Oh, oh no, oh, regretting, regretting. Why did I do that? Oh god, the phone's dropping now. This is all of my, like, I don't know, beauty stuff. On the bed, we've currently got an absolute mess. I need to make the bed, but I've brought over a load of cushions. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I've just brought some over. Some slippers, some dressing gowns, some blankets, stuff like that is now in the house. Office is still looking pretty much the same. It's still so echoey. And I brought across my print because I kind of want to put it somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to put it on the wall or like prop it up somewhere. I don't know. And I also brought across all of my makeup, but I can't really put it away yet because... I don't have my Alex drawers over here. They're still back at home. I need to bring them over and then put all my makeup in. But this is all the makeup that I own. But yeah, for now, I think I'm going to continue building this. See how far I get. I will keep you guys updated. It's not the same vlogging without Alex. It's just not as fun. Like, when you're on your own, it's just a bit like... Yeah. So, I think I've cocked it up big time. Because the thing it's asking me to do next... It's not possible to do. <laughs> so here is our chest of drawers and it's asking me to take this board. Oh, there he is. And stick it in this gap. Stick it in the gap, in the gap, in the gap. Let me show you how small my gap is. Like, <laughs> it's a very small gap for a big bit of wood. <laughs> oh, focus on my gap, please. Come on, you cheeky bugger. This camera just thinks it's all that. Thinks it can just mess with me all the time. Well tell you what you're not gonna okay this is said gap this is the wood that's gonna go in that gap that would not fit anything in it i just don't know i just do not know so yeah i'm just gonna abort this mission and wait for alex's opinion ah my hand my hand ow 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 oh crap <laughs> <sighs> back in position so i've just got some pizza and i'm gonna eat it funnily enough and i'm gonna watch something i don't know whether to watch the telly i've got this big telly in front of me but i'm just looking at stuff on my laptop because that's just what i'm used to but i could actually put the tv on couldn't i but i probably won't i'm probably just gonna i can watch youtube on the tv though can't i oh yeah <laughs> i've never been uh, 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 youtube on the big screen do you want to see my pizza? Probably not, but I'll show it to you just in case. Here it is. It really doesn't look like much, but it smells really good. And there is obviously another half to it, but I've left it in the kitchen because I don't know how much I'll eat, but pizza. Yay. Can we just appreciate how nice and cosy it looks in here? Like of an evening, the sun shines perfectly down. The chairs are going to go, by the way. I just need to put them in my car, but yeah. Oh, the lines are gone now. See ya. So I finished my dinner now and I'm gonna go and make the bed. How very exciting, because I need to do that. Yeah, I don't want it to get dark because that's when I feel like I'll get spooked. I scare myself so easily. Um I think when it's get when it blah, blah, blah. when it gets dark, I'm definitely gonna leave this room because obviously there are no curtains on here yet, so it's a little bit creepy because you don't know what's looking in. See, I'm already scaring myself. I'm gonna go make the bed. Would you like to come with me? Let's see I don't treat ya. do there we go it's all done i'm not gonna put cushions on it and stuff because i'm gonna be getting in it in well probably about six hours but i still can't be bothered so yeah all done so it is now much 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 later in fact i think it's like 
Um, it's only nine, but it feels a lot later. And I just thought I'd say goodnight because it is now dark. It's actually been dark for ages, but I'm all right sat here. I thought I'd be scared, but I'm not too bad, but I am gonna go up because I need to have a shower. So I thought I would say goodnight. I feel like I haven't really done anything today. I was not very productive. I've This sofa is making me less productive because it's so comfy. I'm just going to sit on it all the time. I'll see you guys again in the morning. I'm going to combine today and tomorrow to make another like long vlog. And yeah, I'll let you guys know in the morning how I survived the first night alone. And I'll let you know if I got scared. See you in the morning. Good night. Alex is in the vlog. Oi. Yay. I made sure that you were in it after all. Otherwise, I wouldn't get as many thumbs up. Absolutely not. Ah, it's so cute. Hello. Oh, me. Do you wish you were here? Yeah. Right now, I just wish you were here. <laughs> Don't say anything, it's meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not what I believe. Anyway, do you have anything to say to the vlog? Good night. Oh, yeah, good. Oh, almost. Good night. Good morning. So this is what happens when I go to sleep with wet hair. <laughs> I feel like you've probably never seen my hair like this. It's an absolute mess. So I've just like half tied it up, half left it down. It looks like a bit of a mess today, but I don't think I'll be seeing anyone today, so I don't really care. Apart from the sofa men, but I don't think they're going to care about the state of my hair. <gasps> that rhymed so well. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's now Friday and last night was actually absolutely fine i didn't mind being it on my own at all it didn't phase me in the end i thought it would really creep me out but i just didn't mind i think it's because this place just isn't creepy it's just got that kind of like just the opposite of creepy vibes to it like it was just absolutely fine i slept really well and i'm just waiting for this sofa and then i think i'm gonna like decorate a bit more of the office and put some more of my stuff out on the shelves and just like move stuff around so i think that's what i'm gonna do i can't really do much else because i haven't got my clothes here i haven't got my makeup drawers here i haven't got the chest of drawers made yet like there's nothing else i can really put away until that's done so as you can see it's a really dingy day today like the lighting's so much darker than normal isn't it but it is really like dark and gray considering it's like i think it's like 10 10 a.m and it's just like well you can't really tell in that but it's really dark and dingy but I don't mind, it feels quite cosy in here, so my voice is really going today. <laughs> I feel like this might be my last moving vlog, which is really sad, but I'll still like do vlogs every now and again, but I feel like I can't keep calling them moving vlogs, because once the sofa's arrived, everything is here, so I feel like we're moved in. No, I could do one more when I put my clothes and my makeup away. That will be the last one. Okay, I think I'll do one more after this. And then after that, I think it will just be normal videos again. Which I'm really excited to do. I haven't filmed a normal video in so long. So yeah, I would love it if you could comment below some video ideas that I can film. And I will get back on it next week in my new background. I'm really excited. I hope it looks good. Otherwise, I'll be a bit miffed, obviously. But I think it's going to look really cute with the pink sofa and all that jazz. So yeah, anyway, I will see you, I guess, when it arrives i'm also a little bit nervous that they're not going to be able to get it up the stairs because it's not like a normal just straight up staircase it obviously winds around and then it also winds around here as well so i don't know how easy like that will be to get a sofa up i'm so scared they're not gonna be able to do it but i'm wow what is going on out there today okay so it has just arrived and they got it up the stairs really easily it was all fine they found the house okay <sighs> the only thing is I need to attach the feet myself. So I don't think that's gonna happen because I don't have a drill, so I'm not gonna be able to put the feet on, but I mean, at the moment, it's just like upside down, but I can show you anyway. This is the nicest pink color. It is so nice. <gasps> oh, I really wanna try and put it in position like without the feet so I can see what it looks like. Oh my god. I actually really love it. Obviously it looks so stupid like that because it's not lifted off the ground. I'm really happy with it. It's such a nice pink colour. It goes with the room really nicely and it adds just a bit of colour. And it's actually really comfy. Like this is a squidgy cushion. I wasn't sure how comfy it would be because it looks like quite a hard sofa. It is quite a hard sofa but the cushion is quite squidgy. This is the last furniture arrival now. We have no more furniture. Just like decorative things now. So, I just had a phone call from Alex and he was like, are you sure you need a drill for that? Because 
usually it would come with the holes already drilled turns out you don't you just screw it in by hand i don't know why i assumed i needed a drill but for some reason i was just like i obviously need a drill for this turns out i don't so bad news is that you don't get to watch me drill things in the next vlog but the good news is that i can screw them in now are you ready i'm gonna do this myself probably not a good idea but it's happening Wish me luck. Okay, so I've done one. That took me so long. I was gonna do a time lapse of the whole thing, but I feel like it'll just be the longest time lapse ever. Anyway, I think I'll just show you when it's done. <laughs> Otherwise, it could go on for quite a long time. I did it. All of the legs are on. It didn't take too long in the end. If it breaks, well, we'll know I did it wrong. <laughs> Duh. So I've just thrown some of my cushions onto it. I don't think this is how I'm going to keep it. Um, I don't know. I think maybe not putting pink on pink is probably best. If I get some more cushions, then I can make it look cute. But these are just the ones I've taken from home that I think would kind of work. And I think it looks all right. I don't want to put that there, actually. Also, quick opinion, because I like getting you guys' opinion. When I bring my Alex drawers over, which if you don't know what they are, they're the drawers that I put my makeup in. So if you've seen my makeup collection video, it's those drawers. Do I shunt this along a little bit more and put the drawers in here? I don't know if they'll fit, but actually they probably won't fit. If they fit in there, put it there. The only other option is to put them under this desk. Like, I could just have them under there. That's what I need to decide, but ugh. I'm just waiting for this to like collapse any minute because I built it myself and I don't have much faith, but it seems to be all right. Anyway, what is the time? Because I, it's 12. I just realized that this vlog is going up today. Like right now that I'm filming it is the Friday that I'm gonna upload this. So I need to start editing it because I've got three and a half hours basically. Actually no less, because I've got to upload it. I've not got that long to get this edited. So I think I'm gonna say goodbye. And I know it's, I haven't really done much. I know it's been really naff vlog without Alex, but the next one will be me bringing all of my stuff down here. I mean, I've got most of it here, but bringing the rest of my stuff down here and packing it away. Anyway, I'm rambling. I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's not been too boring it just being me without Alex, but he'll be back in the next one because obviously it'll be over the weekend. So yeah, thanks for watching. Give this one a thumbs up if you're still liking these vlogs. I hope you're not bored of them and I will see you very soon. Goodbye. And goodbye from my new best friend. <laughs>